We're, we're joined now by Long Beach State head coach, Jeff Cameron. Coach, if you could go ahead and uh, start off with an opening comment. We'll take a couple questions afterwards. All, uh, yeah, obviously super disappointed uh, in the outcome. Um, nevertheless, I'm very proud of our young ladies in the year we've had. Um, it's a very special group, um, and they'll be remembered for a lot of things that they accomplished this this year. Um, definitely, my you know our st my staff and our, our staff's best team, you know. And uh, unfortunately, tonight we just weren't the better team. Hats off to Hawaii, you know they you know made some plays, and uh, you know they they came out on top. In the third quarter, when they just started hitting those shots, it kind of affected a little bit of how, how you could defend them. Was that sort of a, a key thing or, or turning point a little bit? You know, it, momentum is a strange thing. You know, I don't think they hit a lot of shots. I just think they hit timely shots. It seemed like they hit 15 threes, but they hit seven, we hit seven, you know. So I think the momentum is huge, especially during this time of the year. Uh, we just had too many mental lapses, breakdowns where – you know, uh, you know, their better shoes were, were wide open. Um, lack, just lack of discipline. We just didn't execute. That's not us defensively. The amount of breakdowns we had on the defensive end, you don't typically see that from this team. And, you know, I, uh, that's my fault. You know, they weren't prepared enough, and, and, and that's on the coaching. So, you know, uh, but to answer your question, yeah, I thought the momentum really, uh, you know, it's tough. A physical game like that, you know, I, I, you look at the box score, and I'm, I don't, I'm not going to talk about the official, but and not that it was terrible, but, you know, we only went to the line. I thought we settled, you know, and, you know, I, I would say they work for quality shots versus us settling for three-pointers, and, and, and we really stopped attacking the basket. So I thought the physicality bothered us. We didn't stay the course with that, and... Uh, you know, maybe, you know, like I could have done some different things offensively, but ultimately, you know, we, we just didn't get it done. Coach, most teams in the postseason are in that win or go home mentality. You've kind of been in that pressure situation since mid-February. Sure. Talk about that difficulty of having this grind since then. Yeah, you know, we try to, you know, not talk about it. I don't think many people understand the weight that these young ladies have bear, you know, bore, they, they had to bear throughout the course of the year. I mean, to win almost 16 straight games, you know, it, it's interesting. It's when you're in it and you've experienced it, you know, it's such a different perspective, you know, and expectations and what, you know, people want and expect versus, you know, who we want to be. You know, and, and, and so, yeah, that's a, something that I think our young ladies have carried. But they've carried it with great pride, with great character. You know, they, they've been down in a lot of cases, and they fought their way back. Even tonight, we did a great job of fighting our way back with, within one possession. And it just didn't roll our way. We couldn't make that play that we've been able to make in the past. And I, I just thought we, you know, it's tough when you're going into fourth quarter and you're down 10 points just like the other night. And. Um, it, you know, we just couldn't do it, you know, and against a team like Hawaii, um, it's tough. You know, that's championship pedigree. They have some young ladies that have played in some big games and, you know, they weren't afraid of the moment. They hit some big shots and made some big plays and, you know, we did, but we just didn't do, you know, make enough of them. You have a pretty storied upperclassman. Touch a little on your, on your upperclassmen that, that are in this program right now. Yeah, so it's tough, you know, it's tough to just tough. It hasn't really hit me, you know. I'm, you know, emotionally, I just, just kind of stung a little bit, you know. Um, it hit me more later, but to see the emotion in the locker room and it's just a great group, you know. Uh, Makai has been with me since day one. You know, she was the first young lady I recruited here, or we recruited here. I say me because I was the only person on staff for a while, you know. But um, Makai, Lauren Green young ladies that have been staples and cornerstones to the progress of this culture and program. Um, you had Tori and Malia and Courtney who just fit like a glove. They were here for a year, but you would have thought they were here for four or five years. They're just great human beings. 
And those people don't understand. Yeah, oh, you can go in the portal, but that's not always the best thing. It has to be the right fit. And I, I head off to my staff, and we just, we stuck to our guns and said we want to bring in some character young ladies. And fortunate enough, they were really good players. <laughs> you know, that's not always the case. So it's going to be hard. I mean, we still got some basketball to play. You know, hopefully we'll get a WNIT bit. I'm sure that will happen. You know, you never know. But um, but it's tough. I, this team should be in the tournament. You know, should be in the tournament. But that's part of it, man. That's that's the beauty of sports. You know, it's tough, but it it, it draws out, you know, you know, the character in you, you know, and it helps you grow and makes you better. And this will make them better. It's hard and it'll hurt for a while, but I think they'll learn a lot about, you know, themselves and, and uh, who they are. Thank you, Coach. We appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you.